I'm Sarah. I live in Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm um, Uma's mother. My name is Joakim. I'm uh, Uma's father. Uh, Uma is uh, 11 months, turning one in a couple of weeks. So we found out when um, Uma was four weeks old and she had her first month's checkup with a doctor. And before that, like a week before that, we had problems with her weight. She didn't gain weight. She was just losing weight after the birth. Uma has PDA, which is that she has um, a hole in her heart, an opening that's supposed to be closed after she's been coming out to the world because it's open when when I was carrying her, but um, it didn't want to close. It kept been being open and um, took a lot of energy from her, eating and being um, an alert baby and wanted to play and like develop and stuff. Uma was about three months old when she was sent to our hospital because of a persistent ductus arteriosus, which is quite a common heart defect and occurs in up to 10% of all children. And she was sent here for closure of the duct because the problem with the duct is that children doesn't gain weight and has difficulties to breathe. I'm always happy for my patients if it's possible to treat the condition in the cath lab with just a small incision in the groin, not using open heart surgery because the recovery is always much faster and better and the outcome is the same. All we wanted was to just close it. We told the doctors, like, we're not scared of doing it. We just want to do it because we want our baby to get healthy and we want her to be able to eat herself. We cleaned her, showered her, um, and then we walked down with her to anesthesia. And that was a hard time. I know I cried and you were, like, rolling her away with these people, like, just letting her go. and looking back and she was like where are you going and then we just was at the hospital room and just waited waited for them to call and let us know that everything went well yeah, and it took like five hours and uh, it was the longest five hours in our lives yeah it was when we did the intervention we could immediately discontinue the medication and we could remove the feeding tube and she was able to drink all by herself the evening after the intervention. So you can see directly the improvement within 12 to 40 hours, almost immediately. The moment she woke up actually um, from the surgery, they called us and like, do you have milk for Uma? She's screaming, she's hungry. <laughs> and we were just like laughing. It was like such a relief. We're like, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> running, running in the hospital with a bottle. <laughs> Uma was operated when she was three months and one week old. Uma was one of the smallest and youngest patients we did. And in Uma's case, it was possible to close it with the Oclitech device with an excellent result and no problems. Uma will not need another operation. Once you start talking about it, you realize that so many people had gone through this as well. Try to stay calm and do the best of the situation and trust the doctors, you're in good hands. Um, they know what they're doing. We thank everyone for it.